Hello, YouTube. I'm back. Happy New Year's. Um, I'm just stopping in to um, talk about how my New Year's has started off and actually how it ended last year. So I know um, most of the time we want to uh, bring in our New Year's good. And I can't say that my New Year's didn't come in good. It's just... It's not starting off as I expected, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate. My year ended where I got a ticket. I made it through the whole year without getting a ticket or anything. And right at the end, I got a ticket trying to race to my son's uh, dentist office because they needed some paperwork filled out. Uh, my mom had took them to the dentist, and they were like, no, the mom has to fill out paperwork. So I was trying to race and get there so they could start on his mouth because he's in pain. And ended up getting a ticket because the cop said I didn't make a full stop at the stop sign. When I know I did, but when it's the cops, you know, it's your word against theirs. And you could fight it, but yeah, I don't like to do that. But um, yeah, so I ended up getting a, a ticket and if... uh. Anybody lives out here in Vegas, um, when you get a ticket, that shit is, is fucking expensive. It's expensive. So I got a ticket before where, um, when I first moved to Vegas and I was trying to get my kids to school and I really wasn't paying attention to the school zone. It was my fault. I wasn't paying attention to school zone and, um, excuse me, school zone speed limit, it was 15, I was going 20, so I got a $250 ticket, and they don't really do payment plans out here, it's like you got until the date that we get you to appear in court to pay on this ticket, or go to court, and whatever, and so this time, for not making a complete stop at a stop sign, the ticket is $308, so I have to pay that, and my pockets ain't like that. Like, some people could be like, oh, I'm just going to pay. No, my pockets ain't like that. So, I have to pay it. <laughs> and, um, um, excuse my hair. I'm in a guest protective style. So, uh, I'm in a protective style. So, I just have it braided in plaits. And I'm going to keep it like that for probably another week. Um, but anyway, um. Sorry if you hear that beeping. My son is texting me from school, which he shouldn't be, but he is. But um, other than that, it's just my first week of um, this year. It's been okay. I wouldn't say it's the best. It's been okay. But you know how you have those times where you feel like things are going to get better. I think I'm in a point where I feel like things are hitting a rocky road before it gets better and it kind of feels like that every year every year it feels like you have to go through rocky shit before you can get through the you know see that light at the end of the tunnel and I think that's where I'm at but you know I appreciate every thing that I go through because it makes me a better stronger person and I know a lot of people probably go through this but I'm just here to let you know that we all go through the same shit. And now I'm sitting here, I guess, like probably a, a whole bunch of other people wondering when this government shutdown is going to uh, open back up because I need to file my taxes. I need those taxes. I need that tax refund, you know what I'm talking about? But, yeah, it's just it's a little stress, but I try, like my daughter, she always tells me, and my, my daughter is 21, but she always says, think of positive, think of the positive. And, you know, and I'm an optimistic person, always have been. Some things, you know, when you're around negative things, it'll, it'll like eat you up. And so you focus more on the negative than the positive. And I think I was in that space, that mind space for a while, a while, because I could feel myself just like in a damn like deep depression or some shit. But I'm trying to look on the positive side now. I'm trying to um, just think of where I'm going from here. And that's why I say I never make a resolution because 
Sometimes you just can't stick to resolutions. Life is life. You know, you can't plan your life. You can make plans, but it ain't going to go by what you want. Life is going to happen, and you just got to adjust to that shit. So, yeah, I don't make resolutions. I just try to take it, you know, days at a time, weeks at a time, months at a time. And if I am able to achieve a goal within that time, then I've accomplished something, you know. Um, For me and my kids... Um, I'm going to get the materials so we can all make our own vision boards because I like to do a lot of things with my kids. Even though they're teenagers, we still, I try to act, interact with them with everything. Just try to enjoy their time because that's what life is, enjoying your family, you know. I mean, yeah, you got to work, but you can't let that work consume your life. And I try not to any chance I get, you know, what, regardless of what the circumstances is, my, my kids, they, you know, they'll grow up pretty soon. They'll have their own families. I'll still love them, but life ain't promised. Days ain't promised. So I enjoy my family to the fullest. And I just, um, think that if we all had like vision boards, something to look at, to help us achieve our goals, even with kids, you know, because you want to start with them younger. And even though they're like teenagers, they're still not adults yet. So um, I think it'll be a fun project and it'll help them look and see or at least think about what they want to do as they get older. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for right now. And I have goals, but one step at a time. So. I talk to you guys later because he is interrupting my video. And I hope you guys are enjoying your new year. So, happy new year. Peace.